Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Tyler, or XMK Jedi here, and welcome to a quad feed with every gun in Modern Warfare. This video is going to consist of a quad feed with every primary and secondary weapon in Modern Warfare, with a little bit of an exception, which we'll get to later on. Now, of course, this is not my original challenge idea. This was inspired by Merc Music, who does this challenge every year. So I'm going to leave a link to his channel, his Twitter, and his quad feed video for this game down in the description. But anyways, we're going to start off here with the key Lotus to kick things off on this video. And right away you're going to notice that I did not do this challenge alone. I was wondering if Silent Kyle was going to be doing this challenge over on his channel for Modern Warfare. Because he did this for Modern Warfare Remastered. And I asked if he wanted to team up with this. And he, of course, said, that's fine, let's do it. But, anyways, moving over to the FAL there. On Crash, this one I nailed. I got the first two there, and then I looked toward the spawn, get the third, get the fourth for a split quad feed, and I get one more for an unsplit nice. quad feed. And unfortunately, I oh, died I off of the five on. But, <laughs> anyways, moving over to Kyle's clip here with the M4, playing some hardcore headquarters on Shoot House. And speaking of Shoot House... You are going to be seeing a lot of that in this video. We've had more luck on Shoot House than any of the other maps, but we do have clips on some of the other maps as well, which you will see down the line. But anyways, moving over to the most of the time one-shot kill weapon in hardcore, the Odin. Oh yes, I just got it. With me just barely getting it. But I'm going to slide in here with the M13 and just recap it. Ooh, getting a really nice quad feed there. And moving over to the Scar, I nailed this one as well. Getting the first three in their spawn. One more, please. Oh, come on. But then I run over to mid and got the last guy. Okay, whatever. I'll take it. And take it I did. But Kyle's going to be nailing this clip here with the AK playing some hardcore Dom. And then he's going to get the next two over by A-Flag, and then he's going to run over toward A-Flag. Unfortunately, he does get split there. And I do believe he had a times two there. I couldn't really see the feed. But I'm still going to be using the AK here, playing some hacking yard. I thought there was a guy behind that wall, but then I look out the window and see the last two, and get... Another fucking AK squad feed. That. <laughs> but I'm just going to shut up here and let you watch this Grand 7 kill. Like, look at this car. Yes! I just got a fucking five on. That's not the only five on you're going to be seeing in this video. I can tell you that right now. But <laughs> moving over to the SMGs, Kyle's going to be kicking things off here with the AUG playing some more shoot house, of course. He's going to see the third of cargo. Unfortunately, he does get split. But then we move over to Hackney Yard and I do this with the AUG. Ooh. I absolutely love that clip. But <laughs> moving over to the P90. Moving over to C flag on Shoot House. Unfortunately, Kyle does get split here. And he actually does get a times two, which was also split, unfortunately. But then I. I kinda had to do this. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually the clip that made me want to team up with Kyle on this project. Moving over to the MP5. Unfortunately, Kyle does get split again. But then, moving over to Hardcore Headquarters on Hacking Yard with me using the MP5, I just sprayed everyone down, except for that one guy, but I had to reload, which does suck, but that's what can happen sometimes whenever you're going for these feeds. Now, unfortunately, he did get split there with the Uzi, but we're back on Hacking Yard, and we're back with me on Hacking Yard. <laughs> got the next guy there. The kill that would have split me got taken off, so I kind of got lucky with this clip. I did clean up the Uzi there, but <laughs> moving over to the Bison, and while you're watching this, I want to give you guys my personal recommendations on game modes where you can hit quad feeds on. Now, it's been kind of fluctuating with me as I like to play a variety of game modes, but you're going to be seeing Domination, TDM, Hardpoint, Kill Confirm, and Headquarters. Those are the game modes that I usually play whenever I'm alone. But anyways, he got split there, unfortunately, with the MP7, but then I'm going to pick up an MP7 while going for the combat knife feed because I kind of wanted to change it up a little bit. And then, unfortunately, I got split here. But we're not done with the MP7 yet still because Kyle's going to hit a third clip here with it. 
Moving over toward that area there and nailing the last two for the MP7 Quad V to finish off the SMGs. Moving over to the shotguns, which were all done by Kyle, starting with the Model 680. Unfortunately, an enemy grenade kill split him, but then he gets an unsplit, but the sixth guy kills him off of what could have been a five on. Which is unfortunate, but sometimes you'll get killed off of bangers, and although it's annoying, that's what can happen sometimes. We've all experienced that, right? <laughs> but anyways, moving over to the most underused, underpowered shotgun in Modern Warfare. Nah, I'm just playing. The 725. Unfortunately, a cruise missile does end up splitting him. And that was the only 725 clip that we had here for this video, so I do apologize. But moving over to the Origin 12 to finish off the shotguns. Now, this was bullshit. That second kill faded off and took away what could have been a 5 on. Which does suck. But I think Infinity Ward said that they're going to be implementing a fix for that soon. But anyways, moving over to the LMG, starting with the PKM with me on Shoot House. Oh, split. Unfortunately getting split, but we're not done with the PKM yet. Now, by the way, all of the LMGs were done by me. Seeing the next two over at Shantytown, I still wanted to use the PKM to try to get some more attachments unlocked. Got the third, and then just barely got the fourth. Mm, just got it. Just before a teammate's grenade killed me. Now, the SA-87, I'm kind of surprised that this is an LMG, because it handles a little bit more like an assault rifle, and it doesn't have the magazine capacity of an LMG. Now, unfortunately, I did get split, but then I get a times two, and... No, I could have saved it! died off of what could have been an unsplit. But moving over to some Park 4 headquarters with the same gun, moving over to the headquarters, I see the first two, but then I notice that there's someone that's still on the headquarters, so... Yes! I had to. <laughs> it's just... Natural instinct. But... <laughs> M91... This was pretty easy, actually. Nailed it. I got it! Moving over to the MG34. Now, the M91 was easy, but the MG34 I was actually struggling with quite a bit. Until this happened. Finally. <laughs> but, moving over to the Horger 26 to finish things off here for the LMGs. I see the first guy, nail him, and then three more right in front of me. Ooh. Just sprayed him down. <laughs> but, moving over to the Marksman Rifle, starting with the EBR. Appreciate the call out there. But that's actually one of my real life friends, in case you don't recognize that name. But <laughs> moving over in Cave of all maps, unfortunately I do get split, but then I died off of what could have been an unsplit, but it wouldn't have really mattered anyway because the kill in the unsplit part got taken off. But we're back on Shoot House, of course. I think that guy was AFK, but then that dude throws a grenade at me, so I had to slide to get out of the way, but then that made it a pretty dynamic quad feed there. But anyways, Kyle's going to be sniping it up with the Mark II on Crash, playing some Hardpoint. Now, I'm not sure if he was going for a quad head, but he still gets the quad feed, but he's not done yet. Literally the very next life, he's going to go into town again with the Mark II. Now, one of his kills does fade off, and the kill that would have split him fade off, but he still manages to get another quad feed in the very next life. But, anyways, we're moving over to the car to finish off the marksman rifles. Got one, got two, got the third in the cave, and then he's going to run over toward Rug Shop, but he has high alert on, which does let him know there's a guy nearby, so he turns around and gets the quad feed. But anyways, moving over to the snipers, starting with the Dragonov. All of these snipers were from Kyle. Unfortunately, I do not have any sniper clips for this video. And he was struggling with the second guy, but he ends up getting a collab for the quad B, but he's not done yet. The very next life, on the other side of Shoot House, he's going to hit another Dragonov quad feed. Just like that. But moving over to the HDR. Now, there was a guy on the enemy team that was actually reverse boosting in this lobby. But then he no scopes the fifth, but then that guy that's reverse boosting actually splits Kyle, unfortunately, which does suck. But it really does suck that people have to condone the reverse boosting just to try to get easy lobbies. Now, this clip is a perfect example of why they need to brighten up the kill feed as well in this game, because look at that. You can barely see what's going on in that feed, but anyways, enough of that. We're moving over to the pistol, starting with the X-16. Kyle going into town on shipment, hitting this really nice X-16 feed, and then with the 1911 here, I do this. Oh, wow. Alright. 
But then moving over to the 357, got the first guy, and then I struggle with the second guy because of the riot shield. But then I see the last two over by forklift and nail them for the quad lead. And then moving over to the M19, this clip I actually really like as well. Got the first guy at cargo, and then I jump over toward B flag and get the next guy. And here's where the fun begins. Now, that riot shield doesn't phase me, but then... Split times two. But then I see the last guy and get an unsplit. But it's still not done yet. I get a five on, and then... Jesus, I just went off! Yeah, I did go off. <laughs> I could have had it five on times two there, but unfortunately I died off of it. But moving over to the Deagle to finish off the pistols. Now, this one I didn't spray in, so you guys should be proud. Yes! Fucking finally, dude. Moving over to the melee weapons, here's where our little exception comes into play. I did go for the right shield and the combat knife online, but either A, teammates would snatch the kills from me, B, I would kill one enemy and then every single other enemy in the area would turn around and melt me, or C, I think I had the perfect flank, but there's always someone watching it. And you have to be playing hardcore to use the riot shield too, so factoring all of that in, I had to resort to private match for that, and the combat knife as well. I did try it, but if I would have kept going with it, I would have probably uninstalled this game and the project would have been scrapped. So I'm sorry about that, but finishing things off here with the launcher, starting with the Pila where I get a triple, and then one of those kills faded off, but then quad feed. It could have been a five on though. <laughs> Let's go. But then I somehow do this with the Strela Peak. Yes! Fucking finally. The reason I say somehow is because the explosive radius on that thing is absolutely horrendous. Like, I'm still surprised I was able to get that. But Kyle nails a javelin quad with ease. But then finishing things off here with the RPG, Kyle is going to turn the corner off spawn and get a quad. Just that easy. But on that note, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. I had so much fun going for this challenge. And I'm thinking about doing it again whenever the next COD drops. If you want to see that, or maybe even see me do a quad feed with every gun in any older CODs, I'm, I'm down to do it. Just let me know in the comments section, or even on Twitter. But... Anyways, that is going to do it for me. Hope to catch you guys next time. Peace.